So that was the first two done. Competence, confidence. The third thing, the third thing that's quite vital is professional development. What is professional development? We are in the profession where we're always learning. As an expert, as a person um, who has been there, done that, as a person who has seen everything in the profession, you might be a person with 25 years experience. As soon as you hang your hat and say, wow, you know what? I've achieved it all. I've done everything. That is the day you should retire. Because in our profession, we are always... Tomorrow, there's always going to be a better system. Uh, tomorrow, there's always going to be something newer. There's always going to be a new technique, a new technology, a new clinical reasoning process that instead of the problem being solved in six weeks, you can have it down to 12 days, okay? Imagine it being down to 15 minutes. All of that is because you're thinking, well, what else is out there? What else can be done to, to develop myself and to be better at what I do? Professional development is just that. It's all about being the best you can be and the steps you're going to take to get there. So you're always learning. Very important. I get this question asked a lot. What professional development uh, courses should I do? Learn what you love. If you're learning what you love, you're going to enjoy it. <clears throat> if you're learning something, you're going to enjoy it. You're, uh, sorry, if you're learning something you love, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to absorb it more. And you're going to be able to utilize it more. During the first seven years of my career, I had done Pilates as a professional development course. I had done up to, I think Pilates was up to four levels. Uh, then there was a specific taping technique which is uh, w widely found around the world now, the kinesio taping techniques, which is uh, the myofascial taping technique. Um, it was introduced to Australia way back in 2001. I was the first, one of the first people to go and learn that from uh, Dr. Kenzo Kaze. Uh, he, was, uh, he was the founder uh, of the Kinesio Tape. And he was a brilliant man, wonderful chap who uh, had been uh, a practitioner for about 30, no, actually more than that, about 40 odd years. <clears throat> but they were, they were things. So that was Pilates, that was the Kinesio Tape. Um, then there was uh, dry needling, so it was an area that I found that I uh, wanted to learn a little bit more, and I, and I did, and I learned it. So, ultimately those were things that I really liked, I really loved, and I really wanted to uh, better myself at it, and I wanted to learn about it. So that's how I chose my professional development topics. <clears throat> Another thing is, you want to learn about professional development topics or lectures that intrigue you. Um, excuse me. What intrigued me uh, about needling was that I saw, um, <clears throat> I saw acupuncturists using acupuncture needles to help people medically. And it really got me thinking, it, it, it intrigued me. And I thought, wow, this is, this is so interesting to see how a tiny needle can make such a big difference to, uh, to these people. So I thought, wow, that, that's very interesting. I want to learn it. So keep your mind in tune to these things. Keep your mind in tune to those things that, excuse me, that interest you. And if it's intriguing, then you go for it. And then you go in deeper. I talked about this before. 
when you go and do professional development, you want to become the best that you can be. So, when it was the Pilates, I wanted to learn all about the Pilates so I could administer it the way I liked. <clears throat> and I saw how it could help my athletes. So, there was all the concepts out there um, on Pilates. I went in and looked at a few uh, different techniques. Uh, I mean, there's wonderful Pilates teachers around the world. There was, um, at the time, uh, Craig Phillips, one of, uh, is quite a renowned physio in Melbourne. And uh, I was a young physio at the time. And, you know, his, his work interested me because he did the Pilates. He had a background in dance. And he also was able to mix the physiotherapy into it. <clears throat> so it was, it was wonderful to learn from. So just like that, I wanted to get that information from him so I could apply it to my clientele and my athletes and then, you know, the, the people I work with. So you're pulling out all the things that you want because ultimately it makes you become the best that you can be. So it's not a race. It's nothing to do with, oh, am I the best uh, physio out there? Am I the best uh, person out there doing, um, doing uh, this kind of technique? Or am I the best because I've done so many courses? No, it's not. It's all about you being the best at what you can do because at the end of the day, there's only one person that matters. And that is your patient, your athlete. At the end of the day, your patient, your athlete, they come in at point A, they want to get to point B, in the middle is you. You're the conduit that helps them get there. So you need to become the best that you can be.